You know, one of the things that really uh, I, I'm fascinated by with this show is that it's both timeless because it, it covers so many issues that are still applicable today, but it's also an amazing time capsule of a really interesting era, obviously the early 90s. When you look back at the show, what is an aspect of that time period, whether it's music or fashion or, or you know behaviors or whatever the case may be, that you miss the most? Miss the most? You miss the most. Uh, oh my God. I think everything's changed for the better. Back. Yeah. Yeah, I, no kidding. The big cell phones? I, uh... uh I miss not having the internet and not having like computers running everything. Because right. we look at it now and we got away with so much stuff in, yeah. in the early 90s that we couldn't get away with now with social media and all that. But uh, So I miss that yeah. time. It seemed pure and, and simpler. It was, yeah. it was a far more innocent time. Yeah. Yeah. And it was it was much slower time. And, and the, the show almost feels reflective of that. Like it's yeah. a much slower paced TV show than TV is well, now. Well, you gotta think too, I mean, nobody would have watched the show if they had internet access and they knew that we were full of shit. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is what Beverly Hills is. <laughs> no, it's not. No. They valet park your car. Right, right. totally, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Perspective of the technology being in the Stone Age compared to what it is now, yeah. the show still managed to, to achieve meteoric success in just a few years. Yeah. If we had had the technology that we have now back then, it would have been overnight. Right. Yeah. So I were think you the, glad then to that point that it was able to be gradual? As a put, you, you were able to kind of warm up to. It was the fast as far that, as I was yeah. concerned. I didn't know any different. It yeah, was, it, was uh, pretty, it was pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. We, well, we, that was gonna be my next question. When, we had, when you guys we had knew. no idea that, we, that that people were watching it until all of a sudden everyone was watching. I think it, it was a, yeah. Brenda lost her virginity. The summer episodes yeah. that really yeah, catapulted this, the show yeah. summer to the was forefront. Was there anything the that season. happened off the set that made you go like the way uh, you know fans showed up at a mall or whatever the case may be? What was that first moment where you went, "Oh shit! Like this is this is happening. This is real." Getting the, followed. Yeah, you know, follow, cool. and fans showing up at malls. That yeah. was yeah. The, those were the big moments where all of a sudden you know they were expecting you know they would expect a couple hundred people to show up and twenty thousand people would yeah. show up. For me, it was uh, Brad Knight at Disneyland. And that really? Was, that was, yeah. Right. When, the, when the stage came up, we were on that Tomorrowland Terrace. The oh, stage right, yeah, yeah. Comes up and so we jumped out, but like another bad creation performed and like, you know, Wilson Phillips and we right. thought, oh, that's what all the, the, the noise is for. Like, that's right. what everyone's cheering for. And then to realize they were cheering for us was, uh, it was cool. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Uh, so guys, I am going to ask about something that's obviously still very raw for you guys, but the, the loss of the great Luke Perry. Yeah. I'm curious just about what it meant for you guys to have each other and lean on each other in a moment like that and uh, the importance of your friendship uh, when dealing with something that horrible. Still, Silence. Still a little fresh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we're all still processing the loss of our friend. Um, if we could just maybe move ahead. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm curious about when the show ended and how you felt about wanting to still be associated with it versus wanting to keep your distance. In those first initial years after the show was over, did you still like talking to people about it or did you want to sort of have a moment where you went, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of done with this now in the sense that like now is a good time, enough time has passed where you can revisit, but those first initial years after the show ended, what those first years were like for you? I don't know about you guys, but I took some time off. I went out to Colorado, built a house. Knew I couldn't really jump into anything right away. People identified me as Steve Sanders. So it took some time to, uh, to let that wear thin a little bit. Um, Jay, the last couple of years, you, uh, you know, you're with us. You, were, you bounced around a little bit, but came back at the end, right? Uh, I, I, the first few years for me after leaving the show, I mean, I, I, was, uh, I, I, I actually got as far away from it as I could. Mm. I mean, I was I was in London doing theater, and you yeah. know, I, I got I I do, did things that were as far flung from uh, from from that show and from that character as I as I could find. Um, uh, but that but that was my own personal journey that I sort of had to go on. I mean, it was a very intense experience oh, all, yeah. that we yeah. all went through yeah. making that yeah. show, and I think that uh, that for me, I needed I just needed a little space from it. I I I, I always yeah. I always loved all my co-stars. Yeah. And we all, we all, uh, always stayed in touch and always loved each other. But just professionally, I, I think a little distance was, uh, was what I needed at the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah look, looking back on it, it wasn't. I always thought like I was trying to escape the show, but then you realize like, as an actor, this is what I do. Like I, so if I want to keep acting and doing what I do, then I need people to associate me with other characters. I have to do other stuff. Yeah. And I have to be noticed for that, so I'm not just the guy from 90210. Yeah. I'm also the guy from this and from this, and 
you you sort of build a body of work and then you become known hopefully for your your body of work instead of just one thing absolutely guys well you're good guys and thanks for being so kind and uh, i really they all continue success to you seriously right thank right. you very thanks much so much. For your time. cheers I appreciate it.